What do you mean you're my daughter? Who is this woman? It's complicated. No games, not tonight. I tried to discuss this with you, Alan, both of you, before Skye got here. You were trying to talk to me this afternoon in the hospital, weren't you? Were you? That's right. I followed you. And as I expected, you led me right to my father, who was too busy to talk to me. I can't tell you how sorry I am about all this. Oh, I'll bet you are. Why don't we go in the other room? Yes, that's a great idea. No, I'm not going Sky. anywhere until Daddy introduces me to the rest of the family. All right, little Miss Goldigger, I think it's time for you to leave. No, I'm not going anywhere until that man admits that he is my father. He is not your father. This is outrageous. How do you think I feel? It's time you two took responsibility for your actions. You were lovers. You created me. I'm your child. What kind of scam are you trying to pull? Isn't it obvious? All right, so who paid you to put the screws into this family? I am not after money. Is this your idea of a joke? Yeah, the joke's on me. Right, Mom? Sky. I'm Sky, and I'm a quarterman. <sighs> Isn't anybody going to welcome me into the family? Please believe me, I, I never wanted any of this. Why didn't you talk to me earlier out of the hospital? Alan, please. One minute, Monica, please. This is a nightmare. Mom, don't let it upset you, okay? Kid's right. Like it or not, we all have to deal with it, stepmother. We should go. I refuse to listen to any of this. Well, I know we're related. Are we? Heavens, no. Reverend Al Thorpe was here to perform the wedding ceremony. Oh, well, don't worry. I'm sure you'll get your money anyway. Whoever you are, please leave. I can't. Chloe, would you take the Reverend out to the gardens, please? Good idea. So, what are you after? Roots. Isn't it obvious? Look, whatever Ray Cummings told you, obviously, it's a lie. Clearly, you don't belong here. Wasn't thrilled myself to find out that I was an unwanted, illegitimate child. But facts are facts. So let's get past the accusations and try to get along with one another. I'll start with you. I beg your pardon? Well, you're about as unpopular around here as I am. Are you my grandfather? Certainly not. Your turn to start answering questions. Alan, if I could just be alone with you for Not a minute. chance. This isn't easy on me either, Monica. Monica, whatever, whatever this is, we have to deal with it, but this is not the time or place. The hell it's not. I want an explanation right now. You think she's telling the truth? Well, illegitimate children are exactly unheard of in this family. Unless you tell me otherwise, I'm going to assume that you are the target of a con game. Ray wouldn't do that. Well, are you saying that... Monica, will you just let me handle this, please? Ray? Ray, I need to talk to you. And you, in private. Now. Would you, Dad? Oh. Shouldn't the whole family hear this? Would you please stop calling him that? It's all right, sweetheart. I'm going to sort this out. I think you two need to leave, and you two need to go ahead with the ceremony. We need to deal with this first. So you two come with me. Right. We're in this together, remember? I was wondering, under the circumstances, should I stay or go? Stay, please. Stay the funeral. That's the this is a delay. It is not a cancellation. <laughs> Happy now? I am not the villain here. I don't know. You got my vote. Would you just stop this? You're making everything worse. Can't Are you, you gonna see back that here or not? You had to pull this tonight. You couldn't Monica, wait until tomorrow. I'm sorry. I had no other choice. Do you think she's lying? Of course. How do you know? All right, everybody, just be quiet. Ray? I think we should do this in private, Alan. I'm afraid it's too late for that. Just say it. Sky is telling the truth. 
She is my daughter. And she's your daughter, too. Told you. I just love my new home sweet home. <laughs> and that warm and fussy family of mine. My God, you just keep sabotaging yourself, don't you? When are you ever going to learn? Okay. We are all upset. Yeah. We need to discuss this calmly. Do I call your wife Monica or stepmom? Sky, stop that. Sarcasm stop is not going to help any of us. Yeah, we'll tell that to the gang in there. Listen to me, Missy. You came in here and caused enough chaos in my house. Now you need to stop it. Well, I just love chaos. And I never stop. And I'm your family, too. Boy, I'll tell you, you just love making enemies, don't you? Well, congratulations, because you've just got a, a room full of them. How's everybody in there? Well, they're angry and they're miserable. What the hell are you trying to do? I never wanted any of this. Or me, obviously. I don't know where to begin. Why not start with uh, nine months before its birth? What Alan and I had was a long time ago. How long? Before you and I met. We were kids. He wasn't even in medical school. It was a hot summer evening by the lake. Be quiet! Are the memories so sacred that they cannot be shared? Do you want to hear about this or not? Every lovesick detail. Monica, it was a brief affair. Obviously with lasting consequences. It's complicated. Well, let's just start at the beginning. And not skip one detail. So you actually know who this wannabe daughter is? I ran into her at the hospital. But can't imagine anyone wanting to break into this family. She's got to be lying. I mean, she has to be. Did she introduce herself to you, give you some sort of clue as to what she was up to? No. She was hovering outside of Alan's office, and when I came up to her, she just started you know, half dancing about losing an earring. You fell for that? I didn't have any reason not to. We should be out there right now backing up Mom and Dad. No, they asked for privacy. We should respect that. If this is true... It isn't. Okay, Ray and that skirt, are, are they're running some kind of scam. I don't know. Wait, you, you actually believe them? I don't want to, but I was looking at Alan, and he definitely has some sort of history with Ray. Then we should just let him deal with her. And then we'll call you if we worry. What plans God like? Leaving so soon? Oh, I was just showing the Reverend to his car. Uh, I think Chloe can make sure that the uh, Reverend gets to his car. Of course I can. You can continue telling me about your trip to Milan. I love Milan. I'm going to check on Lila. You're not going anywhere. Your parents are out there with all of their dreams shattered. Like you shattered mine? You get out of my way, young You're not running from this one, Grandfather. No one blackmails my little sister and gets away with it. Not no even you. does to Xander what you did to him. This is payback time, Grandfather. Shall we get down to business? What business? Time for a little justice. Now, I did what I did to protect Emily. You know as well as I do that Xander is a low-life Back hoodlum. off, Grandfather. It's time for you to confess. Confess to what? Loving Emily? Your crimes. Oh, Ned, go on, let him have it. Perjury? Swearing falsely to a written statement which constitutes fraud? Bribing a witness? Uh, false arrest? All of them felonies. Which means stay prison. How does it feel to be a deviant? Well, good luck proving any of it. Got it all on tape. What? No shortage of witnesses, either. Time for your signature. I'm not signing anything, no. Wait, wait, what is, what is that? Bring confession, detailing his crimes. Once grandfather signs this, gives you insurance that he can never come between you and Xander again. <gasps> Thank you. You guys have thought of everything. You're back here, young lady. Hey, 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 this, this is blackmail. Ain't it grand? I refuse to sign. How unfortunate. Oh, Lila. Uh, Reggie, hmm. do we still have my cell phone handy? Well, who are you calling, dear? The police. You wouldn't. Blackmailers deserve no mercy. Put the phone down. Give me that. All right, you win. That's the spirit.
I was about to tell you I was pregnant. But then you, you broke up with me. Nice, Dad. Real nice. Then what? I told my family they, of course, didn't want anyone to know, so they put me in a private clinic. When I had our baby, I held her. They took her from me, and they told me she died of complications. A few years ago, I found out that they had lied to me, and they had put her up for adoption in one of those illegal baby-for-sale operations. It's only recently that I found out that she was alive and who she was. When you came to Port Charles looking for the Bible, did you know then? The Bible page told me where she went. I did finally find it, yes. Now she wishes she hadn't. Oh, Sky, please don't. Do you believe this? Ray and I did have a relationship. You've had lots of them. It doesn't mean that that woman is your daughter. I don't believe a word of it. I congratulate you both on a job well done. Yes, Emily should be running into Xander's arms about now. I'd like to think that Edward has finally learned his lesson. Well, at least he's been stopped, for now. I wonder how Mom and Dad are doing with the new Quartermain. Who? We had a surprise guest tonight. A woman claiming to be Alan's daughter. Oh, no. I need some proof. I already told you. It's in the Bible. Well, I must have missed that passage. Well, Monica, please. It's a complete record, Monica. My name dates and the couple that Skye was sold to. Look, Adam and Althea Chandler. Well, I'm a doctor in ideal and scientific fact. So a blood test is the only evidence I'm going to believe. What would I have to gain by lying to you both? Money springs to Money? Mind. I have my own money. Sky does too. I certainly know she doesn't need Alan's. Doesn't a good con make its mark believe that it doesn't want anything? Monica, don't oh, make God. a bad situation worse. What? Are you accepting this? Without any evidence, without any proof? Yes, I am. Truth is, I've always known that Ray was pregnant with my child. 